Mr. Yeah. David Blue, uh, what did you think of the experience? This this game in particular? I thought it was fun. I I wow, me first, huh? I thought it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. I really love to uh to have <laughs> gotten to know the the background and all that and use it more, but it makes me want to go on more adventures for sure. Um if for no other reason than to see Hewlett just kind of run at things. <laughs> Randomly. And w waving your arms at birds. Oh, that looks dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's fun. It's fun. I like it. How about the rest of you? Mr. Hewlett? I love it. I mean, I did the... So we uh, the, the last one we did as well, I, I think I said this, but it's like... What I like about it is that it's um, it's got the episode approach to it. Like, it's that it it it's not... You know, it's it's it feels like you get to play your own little episode of Stargate, which is which is just kind of fun. And you know, for me, I finally get to play the you know the heroic beast that McKay always thought he was. So. <laughs> yeah, it's hard not to be sciency. I found <laughs> being the leader, I'm just like, hmm, what are numbers? <laughs> Wasn't hard for me, <laughs> Miss Bailey. Yeah, I really appreciated uh, the way you crafted the story and how inventive it was. And I appreciated the different aspects of it, um, especially the, the riddles and things like that. And also just the world, because I think for this mission, I would have guessed having only seen what you know little there is online of other people playing this, I thought it would be a lot of us talking to alien people. And the fact that that never happened was really exciting to me because it was just environment. Simone, this was your first time, right? Absolutely. Not How easy time. was it to play? I was terrified beforehand because you know how whenever you start a game, you can almost have game anxiety like, uh, you know, you mm. don't know if your brain can really grasp what's going on. But this was really easy for me. I mean, obviously, I, I would recommend that people do look at their sheets and things like that for people that are going to play in the future um, so that you kind of, you know, know stargate a little bit and you know certain you know character things about your character but um yeah easy great and your, your and brother I think would that, be impressed oh yeah and that advanced dice roll that you already had it to you know doing all the math and the modifiers so we didn't have to add the plus two or the plus five that's really helpful moved it along really quickly yeah so thanks Mr. Cruz, this was by far not your first, but uh, your first uh, Stargate uh, RPG experience. Am I right? Yeah, it's, it, this was amazing. This I'm like I was geeking out on multiple levels. This was so meta to me. And, and in between, I've been following the chat on YouTube and jumping in there and talking to them. And so, you know, this is awesome playing with all you guys, Elena. This was a fantastic start. It was well paced. You set up all the characters and the slots. Like it was just really, really great on that end. And playing with all these guys, like we are the cast, but we're being watched by other geeks while we're geeking <laughs> out. So there's this whole, like so many layers to it that I'm sitting here just like, oh my God, this is epic. <laughs> yeah, we started with uh, 430 some odd and we're at 294 right now, which as far as I'm concerned has really sustained itself. Uh, over the course of the of this uh, event, Miss McNiven, you your first time playing, right? Yes. What did you think? Was it not obvious it was my first time? <laughs> um, Maybe a while. Um, I, I I was just disappointed in my trank skills or lack thereof. That that was really unfortunate. But uh, I really appreciated the world building that you did, Alicia. That helped me a lot. I really had no idea what I was walking into. And I I feel like I have an idea. I would go into a second game with a little less uh, nerve. But um, yeah, it's, I mean, as long as someone's there to remind me where things are and what to press and when, I had a great time. <laughs> Mr. Franks. What? <laughs> what'd you think? What'd you think, what'd you think of, of the game? I'm just joking. Um, okay. Jeez, man. I'm always just doing that. Um, first off, uh, Elena, holy crap. Thank you for all the like pre-work on this because 
while we're going through this, I realize that before I can come in here with no knowledge and just act aloof and learn as I go, you actually had to do all this work to make it happen. So thank you for that. Um, yeah. Really, really fun. Like, I feel like at the first map, I w everything sounded like a different language. And then really quickly, the learning curve straightened and I felt very comfortable. And I would love to do this again. It was so much fun. I've been wanting to try sort of like D&D &D for my whole life and I've never gotten the opportunity. And uh, so this being, you know, sort of, uh, sort of derivative of it, it, it makes for an amazing time. I'm like, yeah, this is so much fun. It's like a strange uh, escape room to me. It, it, I had to use yeah. the same things that I use in an escape room uh in this the same sort of logic and i really enjoyed it i would do this again for sure so even you know after a bottle of wine i'm still feeling good <laughs> well you, you in any case derivative of dnd &D, did it feel like stargate did what do you what do you oh, guys think totally yeah like stargate i only meant derivative of dnd &D because that's uh the only thing that was told right. to me that it was like and with the rolling and all that stuff and i love it like i yeah i just i want to do more of it i would love to do this again like now that I know what's going on from the jump and we won't have uh, a half hour of what the fuck is going on, it would be really fun to sort of be able to just drop in and do this. We got again. our Sunday weekly group right here. Um, if it's if it's cool, if you don't mind me just chiming in, you'd surprise me with the asking. But I, I will say I've played a lot of RPGs and I, I love the imagination, the group storytelling of it all. And what I think you accomplished here that I think is great and everybody who backed you guys and who uh, are in the YouTube or were in the YouTube and Elena, yes, also, thank you. Mm -hmm. What's wonderful about this is you found playable fan fiction. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I think that's- Did we do okay? Like, did we do well? You guys oh, yeah. won. You guys did great. Yeah, we, awesome. We didn't yeah, die. you guys did great. And we at record time, I think, compared to the last one. I mean, we went for like <laughs> over three hours and this one, I was like, wow, they're done? <laughs> so I had yeah. to ask, did they win? Cool. That's I could have cool. actually done another hour easy. Like I, I was it like, I could have done more. Really flew by for me. I was like, oh no, we're done. <laughs> well, we have to do another session for sure. After, yeah, yeah I would love to host another one on Dial, Dial the Gate after uh, the new year. Movies. Yeah, for sure. What? You have to wait that long? Well, you, yeah. we can do another one elsewhere. Yeah. 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 Certainly. Can we just do next one year. on? There may not be a next year. You know, see what 2020 has been like so far. Oh gosh, ain't that the truth? <laughs> there may not be a next year. Alexis <laughs> in charge of all puzzles, though. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Yeah, that was cool with the wolf's bane and everything. <laughs> that was amazing. You guys, yeah, Alexis, Alexis, Alexis like, really picked up on that, that really fast. I was yeah. like, well, I couldn't believe I how thought fast there was going to be like history checks or no. Alexis was like, yeah, that's that's yeah. I was like, okay. I picked up awesome. on the, the fox I'll tell you right now. lady slipper. That's the only thing. <laughs> He's well versed in herbology. You know, I, it, <laughs> it, it was, spending time with was Professor just Sprout. Old, tiny herb names, so it wasn't it, it. But still, I was I was I was pleasantly surprised. Elena, I was thinking that the, the, bringing six actors in here would be like herding cats because all with all wasn't. the different personalities and everything else. What what was it? like for your expectations was it was it in um, line with it were they easier were they harder keeping in mind there are six actors still here listening to you right <laughs> i actually will say i i've dm'd i've dm'd for a long time um uh in in dungeons and dragons call of cthulhu i actually have more struggles keeping my call of cthulhu players in line because all there's they all they want to do is 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 run off and not potentially die in horrific masses um so this was this was nice it was it was just everybody was really curious which was really exciting for me because it was like oh yay yay i set up these puzzles well or yay this environment is interesting um and so i really enjoyed that you guys were you actually gave yourselves into the willing suspension of disbelief and let yourselves fall into the rpg as opposed to kind of keeping your brains on the outside and aloof, uh, which yeah. happens a lot with sometimes with new players there's they're too scared about getting something wrong to actually let themselves go. And all of you did a really fantastic job, uh, especially the people who aren't as familiar with D&D or RPGs. You did a really great job of letting yourself Rainbow. That's cool. try and think like, <laughs> okay, what would I do if I were in Stargate? What would I try yeah. and do? What would be important to think about? So I really appreciate that. I'll give that. you guys the compliment, by the way, of uh, 
uh, almost everybody in my Discord right now is saying they either already backed it anyway or they're planning on getting it. So awesome. Uh, you definitely impressed yeah. people who are already. Well, banned why it. wouldn't you? I mean, that the reality is, it's like it's such a perfect combination for this, right? It's like it's one of those things that, you know, especially now where there's been a lot of like interview stuff about you get a lot of like requests for interviews and stuff about Stargate and stuff now. But this is something that's actually new and like a fresh take on it, right? That's there's something something to talk about that makes. And sense. plus, don't your backers get like Stargate dice? Like, yes. I want the Stargate dice. dice. A pair of Stargate dice. <laughs> That's so cool. Nice. Yeah. Yep. They look In really, fact, they we're, sound really we're, cool. I just saw getting... them. They're cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. David got a sneak peek. Um, we also were, we're about to unlock miniatures. So uh, be, so you can play on the table with and move them around. Right. Oh, cool. Like That's great. miniatures. Yeah. Like and uh, you gotta have the books too. Like you gotta do the books mm -hmm. thing. Like part of the Dungeons and Dragons thing was having those things open and cracking them open and looking things up. And that was always the fun part for me as well. Yep. yep. So we got I eleven keep days. by my bedside. There you go. Yeah. I've got <laughs> <laughs> nice. We have eleven days left on the Kickstarter. So um, if you have not backed it yet, please do. Because uh, the more the more backers we get, and it's part of the project, the more stuff that everybody gets. So. And the more hopefully MGM pays attention. <laughs> yeah, we've got a lot more stretch goals that we haven't not. revealed yet. So there's a long way to go. And the more. What did you just say? Did you say there's a lot more stretch holes you haven't goals. revealed? Yet? Stretch goals. Stretch goals. <laughs> oh, stretch goals. Okay, okay good. <laughs> We're good. David Blue, I'm learning. Your reaction right now. <laughs> I've never like... played this game. There's Absolutely. A lot of stuff I know. There's the oh my bingo. God. I'm just making sure. As long as I have <laughs> rainbow, you still surprise me so much. <laughs> <laughs> guys it was so terrific having you here i don't want to let you go um the, you know brad is working on a fourth series uh with mgm so hopefully there's gonna something's gonna come of that you know in the not too distant future and i hope that you all can take not part me. in one way or another and yeah you know it would be so <laughs> wonderful to have you i mean I think everyone's alive, and I think Gin is a computer program now. No, and well, no, Alexis, you're you're ascended, so yeah. There's there's and I'll and Rainbow walk. could be floating out there somewhere in the universe. We don't know yet, so we yeah, he didn't we'll die, die, so died. <laughs> and McKay McKay will have a walker. McKay will have a walker, and Eli got into real good shape. He's been running those Destiny corridors. Eli got into real estate. <laughs> <laughs> uh brad west did i miss anything anything you guys want to cover no no uh, thank thing. thanks thanks for hosting um oh, well done, i did guys. not elena did <laughs> elena i am impressed so <laughs> thank it, you. this one of the things that i have noticed and i've done some star wars uh, uh games like this is that it all hinges on the competency and the involvement of the gm and if you don't have a good gm you're gonna have a really crappy time so yeah. and this this was fantastic because of you, ma'am. So, absolutely. Yeah. Bravo. You, did, you, you guys did great. Um, I'm, I'm, I was impressed how fast y'all picked it up. Those that hadn't played before, um, you know, checking your ability skills, uh, looking at the roll twenty sheets. Uh, yeah, y'all did very very well. Thinking outside the box, thinking creatively, yeah. like really really like good job. That's the great thing about role playing games is they really invoke the imagination and really get your juices flowing in that way. So, yeah. Stargate. And the more you play, the better you get. Absolutely. Stargate and the for, RPG. And for, actors, and for actors, you guys, you, you throw in the enthusiasm and uh, yeah, it just magnifies it even more. So, can I ask? We're amazing. Can everyone smile towards camera real fast so I can be Eli and take a picture? One, two, three. Thank you. Screenshot. Get it. <laughs> awesome. Great, guys. Thank you for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving us a thumbs up with that like button. It will encourage the algorithm to show this to other Stargate fans. Also, please consider sending this to a fellow Stargate friend. I also want to invite you to subscribe to future episodes right here on YouTube. We are a live show, so changes are likely to happen all the time. And if you plan on joining us live, you'll want to be the first to know. Be sure to visit dialthegate.com for the complete guest schedule so you'll know when to join us and ask your very own questions to our guests. See you on the other side.